Hi there, tubers. Thank you for stopping by. It's been a long time. It's been a while since I've done any video um, on my real to real deck. Actually, it's been a long time since I've worked on a real to real deck. And um, that's because I'm hardly, hardly home um, to, um, to work on it. Um, like I said before, this is a hobby, so I just work on it whenever I feel like or whenever I can. So um, I have this deck. This is a Revox PR99 Mark III deck. And what's happening here is that it's, um, it's blowing fuse. First, it blew um, the main fuse here, and, uh, and then it blew out this fuse. So um, start doing some troubleshooting on it. And first, I try to, f to figure out what's going on. And then uh, before that, I, I, I could... I could smell uh, burn, burning like bur like a burning flesh. I don't mean burning flesh, but I mean you know you know what I mean. Um, it's uh, something is burning inside here. So I pull it, and I could see smoke. And then I look, and then a resistor is there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's right in here. The resistor there is is burnt up. So anyway, I went all the way back to put um, by taking out all the cards, and I reached to a point where I did get the board here, and I start troubleshooting this board because when I check my my supply voltage, my regulated and un unregulated voltage, they are they are fine. So which leads me back to my my, my um, output amplifier board. So I tested the transistors. I, I look at my schematic diagram. I always have my schematic diagram. So I start testing the transistors. So now uh, one transistor in particular um, was showing bad on my, on my my test equipment here. Now this is a Syncor uh, Cricket. Cricket uh, is a pocket Cricket, right? So this is all vintage equipment. So I use vintage test equipment to work on vintage equipment, you know, because back in the day these these things were were top notch. So this one is working fine. So this tells me that this this transistor here is bad. So. Uh, I always take out the, 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 the component, but even though it's given me a bad reading here, I always take it out and test it, right? So the first test I did was in circuit test and it shows that it was good, it was bad. And now I take it out and I'll just show you. Okay, so now it's telling me that it's good. Telling me that the transistor is good. But when it was in the circuit, it says it was bad. Right? And I also tested these two capacitors here. And one of them is showing me that my ESR meter, I have one of these ESR meters, it's showing me it's bad. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to remove these, just lift one lead and, and, and run the test over. So I just wanna show you that, I just wanna, I'm doing this to just point out to the newbies like myself and others who are working on these things that um, you can't take the test equipment verbatim that you know it's good or it's bad. You have to do it's best to take the thing out of the out of the circuit board and test it.
So there's my ESR meter again. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the test over again. So this this capacitor is good. This one is good because it's a two thousand microfarad capacitor. Let me check the other one. So it's a 2000 microfarad capacitor and it's reading 4.2 microfarads. So we know that this is a culprit, this is bad. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna replace both caps and put this back into, put this transistor back into the circuit. So, um, I always point out that I don't like to work and do the video at the same time because I work very slowly. So um, some people have commented that, hey, why don't you um, show us exactly what you did? But I feel more comfortable, tell you what I did and just, and just explain it, the process to you. But if I were to, like I talk about troubleshooting it, if I were to, to stay here and troubleshoot this thing and, and while I'm making the video, it would take a long time. It would be a very long video because I do this met methodically, you know, take a lot of time. I'm not like some experts on, on YouTube that, you know, they do this in and out every day. So they all of, all of a sudden they know exactly, you know, what's what. So I got to figure it out and take my time. Anyway, um, I'll give you an update on what's going on with this board. So I'm going to change the caps. And, and you can see somebody, somebody did go in it and change a few caps on it already. And we always like to, uh, as a rule of thumb, these um, tantalium caps, it's always recommended, recommended to change these caps. So I think I, I will do those. But it won't be for now because I'm getting ready to, to leave again. So. This deck won't be finished for right now, but at least I know where to start when I come back. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.